Well, hey there, we are on the water going through the book of Matthew verse by verse because uh, the Spirit has told me and I could see with my own eyes that the church is ignorant to the teachings of Jesus Christ. And as we've gone through this book so far, we're, we're so far just going through the lineage of Jesus Christ, which is incredibly important because it points towards who he is in the Lord. And as we've gone through this book, we've talked about uh, Abraham and why he was chosen and why <clears throat> Isaac was chosen and why Jacob was chosen and why, how his name was changed to Israel and why Judah of all the 12 sons of Israel, why Judah was ultimately that son that led to the lineage of Jesus Christ versus the other ones. And we're going to pick it up right there. Matthew 1, starting verse 1. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham begot Isaac. Isaac begot Jacob. Jacob begot Judah and his brothers. Judah begot Perez and Zerah and Tamar. And Perez begot Hezron. And Hezron begot Ram. All right, we're going to pause there for a second because uh, Jacob begot Judah and his brothers. And this is a critical piece because it is Jacob... <laughs> Well, it's the sons of Jacob, uh, Judah being included in it, who ultimately sold. I'm going to do a little fishing while we're here. It was Jacob, Jacob's children, uh, including Judah, ultimately sold uh, Joseph into slavery uh, because they were jealous of him. Because their father Isaac seemed to just be particularly fond of him. And last time we were talking about, like, really the sons themselves, uh, because Jacob was married to two sisters. Uh, he loved Rachel and he wanted to marry Rachel, and Rachel's father deceived him, and somehow he accidentally married uh, Rachel's sister, Leah. And Leah. Uh, ultimately then was able to give him children. Uh, he then married Rachel as well, because Rachel was his love. Uh, Rachel was his one true love. And Leah did not at all, uh, was not happy whatsoever. And because of that, uh, she was bearing children and she kept thinking, well, he'll love me for sure now that I gave him a third, fourth son, you know. Finally, ultimately, when she gives birth to Judah, it is Judah who finally gives her this place where she's like, you know what? All I need is the Lord. The Lord is my, uh, my rock, my shelter. He's my everything. Which is how God wants it. It's because of that, I believe, that Judah was chosen out of the 12 sons. But Judah and all his other brothers, uh, they did not like Joseph because Rachel, uh, when she finally gave birth to a son, uh, that was Joseph, and for whatever reason, uh, he just had particular favor with Jacob, probably because of the love he had for his mother. But because of this, all of the other brothers despised him, and they sold him into slavery uh, because Joseph had a dream that he was going to be ruler over them. And Joseph ultimately goes into Egypt and becomes a ruler in Egypt over time. First he's a slave, then he's in prison, then he's a ruler uh, because of his ability to interpret dreams and save the Egyptians from a famine. But because he saved the Egyptians from a famine, uh, they, the Egyptians were the only ones that had food during this famine. So Israel, uh, Jacob, his now his name is Israel and the 12 tribes of Israel, or I guess 11 because they're minus Joseph, they ultimately go to <clears throat> Egypt to try to get food, um, find their brother there uh, through a series of events, and ultimately settle in Egypt, which is why then uh, they dwell in Egypt. Um, you know, they show up, there's food there, their brothers rule in the land. Um, and Israel settles in Egypt, and over generations, uh, these Egyptians uh, begin to forget who Joseph was. And they, the number of the Israelites grow and grow and grow and begin to outnumber the Egyptians. And they decide to 
enslave Israel. But it is ultimately Judah's hatred of his brother Joseph, along with his other brothers, that led them into the land of Egypt, um, where they were enslaved, where ultimately Moses will set them free. Uh, but it is really, it's, 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 you know, it's Judah that kind of started this whole process. So as we look at kind of Judah's role, um, and then his sons, you know, his, his offspring, they're going to play a bigger role in freeing the Israelites. Judah was more focused on getting them enslaved. I mean, obviously he wasn't trying to do that, but, but he sold his brother into slavery. And then he sold, um, and ultimately, his, his, his nation of people into slavery by dwelling where it's easy. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham, Abraham begot Isaac, Isaac begot Jacob, Jacob begot Judah and his brothers. It's, a, it's really kind of a beautiful thing, you know. Abraham is chosen because of his willingness to lay down his only begotten son, Isaac. Isaac then is, is he's, he's the birthright. He's the birthright to this covenant with Abraham. But of his sons, it's ultimately Jacob that's chosen over Esau because Esau, he didn't care about his birthright. He didn't care about the blessings of God. He just wanted what satisfied him in the moment. Whereas in Jacob, even though he was kind of a scoundrel, he was really focused on the things of the Lord. He saw the value in the blessings of God. And then he marries two women. Um, Oh, boom. There we go. Something. Benjamin, stay. Benjamin, off. He's got something here. And then he gives birth to... Oh, that's a big guy. He gives birth to Esau, or uh, Jacob gives birth to... Boy, look at that, Benjamin. What do you think of that guy? Benjamin, stay. My dog's gonna freak out on this fish here. Benjamin, stay. Benjamin, stay. Well, look at that guy. Benjamin, get back. I got that. I got his gills here. I'm gonna try. Benjamin, stay. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Sorry, where was I? <laughs> so Jacob gives them, you know, he marries two women, uh, Leah and Rachel, and they both start just putting out, well, Leah starts putting out kids. Um, Jacob ultimately, uh, or Rachel then does not, so she gives them her maid. They just start putting out kids between their maids and them. And ultimately, finally, Leah just gives up and just is like, you know what? The Lord is who I'm going to focus on. And that was Judah. Benjamin, I know it's exciting, buddy. So there you go, man. Um, it's important we understand what's taking place here. Uh, so uh, we'll just kind of keep digging, man. Any thoughts or insight, definitely put that below. Um, I do want to take a moment and say that most people watch this channel, they're not subscribers. Click that subscribe button. It greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out. That link is below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. And never, ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.